passes in an energized place. When she went back, remember the one with the 92-year-old the lady? Well, she wasn't 92 then. <clears throat> she did those exercises religiously outdoors. Now, anybody have any idea what Wisconsin winters are like? <laughs> when I met her at 60, uh, no, at 92, she looked like early 60s. She's one of 11 kids, everybody's dead except her. At 92, no glasses, no hearing aid, no dentures. One of the exercises looked like this. Okay, I figured, why should I demonstrate? Let the veteran do it. So in the class, I had to come up, I said, okay, uh, could you please do the exercise? At 92, this is how she did it. <laughs> 92. She could literally run around the block faster than some of you. What's my point? Listen carefully. Do you notice children have a tendency to heal faster than older people in general? Do you also notice children have a tendency to be more active than older people? When was the last time you saw a hyperactive senior citizen? <laughs> Not that common, right? Now, now, listen, listen. But there are, there are people who are in their 70s or 80s, but they're vibrant. Then you've got something in 30 or 40s that drag their body around. It has to do with how energy flows in their body. Now, those breathing exercises we're talking about is actually part of the class. It's actually on... Grab me the book, will you? Wendy? 